Welcome to another video. Today we are going to learn how to enter grades in RenWeb both manually and import via Google Classroom. So we are going to learn the two ways. If you watch my previous videos, you'll learn how to link the grades from Google Classroom to RenWeb. So I'm going to put that link in the description below. So I'm just going to show you how to enter the grade manually. And I'm also going to give you a short um, part of you linking the grades as well. All right, so I am in RenWeb. So I go to home, then I go to classroom. So when I go to classroom, I'm going to select the class that I want to manually add my grades. All right, so I'm just going to use a random class here. So I go to gradebook. So when I go to gradebook, I will, I will have the option for me to add an assignment. So when you open the assignment for the first time, it will say no assignment created for the selected category. So I'm just going to do the first one. So I go to plus assignment and then a drop down box will appear and I'm going to fill out just some simple section on it. So we have categories so in the categories. We have classwork slash homework exam tests. Some person will have classwork different from homework and we'll have test two and test one. All right. But in this case, I have classwork slash homework. I also have an exam column and a test column as well. So I'm just going to choose classwork and homework first, and then I'm going to give it a title. You can actually type. I have a drop down menu. All right. I'm going to give it a date that I assign, say for instance the 7th, and uh, it was due on the 18th, and then I press save. When I do that, I'll see the column appear. So I'm just going to manually put in the grades for my students. So I'm just using this as an example. So these are just some random grades for this video, all right? So I'm just going to put some grades. So if you notice, as I go along, it going to give me the average at the side, but this is only one grade so far. So let me quickly, quickly put some grades in. So if you actually don't put any grade in for a student, it will be blank. So you, you would just see a dash, an hyphen. Um, persons that fall below 70, you'll see um, the column or the numbers highlighted in red. And those who are scoring above 70, you'll see those in black. So it's not um, saying that you're doing something wrong, it's just a different color coding telling you if the person, if the students are passing or they're failing. All right, so I'm just quickly going to add some grades. So we're actually getting the picture um, of what is going on right here, all right? So I'm going to do another column. So I go to plus sign, and this time I'm going to go to exam. So I'm going to add an exam category and I'm going to give it a title and I'm going to give it a date as well and a due date. And then you press save, that's all, all right? But then the column will appear and they do the same thing. So right here we have this student's average is 100 because there's one assignment that you put into the system so far. So I'm going to put another one. So I'm going to put say 80. So that 80 says 80 plus 100 divided by two will give you the average of 90. So it's automatically give you the average for that student, all right? So this one, um, so I'm just randomly putting some grade for you to get the picture of what we're actually doing. All right, so this is two columns so far. So let's go and create another column. So let's create a test column now. So we did a classwork and homework, we did exam and we did test. So let's go to test and let's gonna give it a title. Um, just gonna give it a title and the date, all right? So the next column will appear and you are going to do that as well. So this one is 180 and 100 and it gives you the grand average right here for this particular student for the three work that the students did. As I said before, if you see it highlighted in red, the students are failing. If 
the student actually um, passing over 70, you'll see the average. So the average automatically change. And as you go along and add the grades, the system automatically saves the grades for you. So the moment you put in the numbers, it automatically saves it in the system. All right. So if I put zero for the students, you, you notice you have F, but if you take out the zero, it will be left a blank, all right? So I'm just randomly putting some grades. So we get a picture. So for instance, you only want to see all the classwork and homework. So you see, we only have one classwork and homework, but you still have the average, right? So for instance, you only want to see the test column. You have the test column appearing. If you only want to see the exam, you'll only see the exam and the test appearing. And if you want to see all three assignments, you'll see, you go to all assignments and all the assignments will be there. All right, so this is what we have. So for instance, you already, your system is linked to the Google Classroom. So your render system is linked to your Google Classroom. You can go to the plus assignments as well. And then you go down to Google Classroom, you select Google Classroom, and there is the drop down um, arrow button where you can go to the Google Classroom to see all the assignments. I'm just going to randomly choose an assignment from Google Classroom. You see a link to existing Google assignment. You said yes, so you press OK. Then you go up and you put it into a category. It automatically gives you the title. And you choose, say, for instance, classwork and homework, and you press save, and then you will see the column appearing. So you want to load this grade because these grades are actually in the Google Classroom already. So you don't have to actually manually put in those grades. You can go to load Google grades, and you go to load. So this is the one that I want, classwork and homework. You select that particular one, you press load, and then all the grades will be loaded in the Google Classroom from the link that you made. So this is how you can actually enter grades into your RenWeb system. All right, thank you very much for watching. Next time I'm gonna show you how to do your comments and your conduct for your students. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, like, and share. Happy New Year everyone.